Secretary Blinken is here in India for G20 foreign ministers meeting. His Chinese counterpart, Chin Wang, is also here. We have seen the spat over Chinese spy balloon or high altitude airship that US has shot down in its territory. Biden administration subsequently blacklisted six Chinese entities in a first then and for that matter and ahead of anyone else. Your channel National Defense exposed the mystery of Chinese spy balloon and nailed Chinese conglomerate Kuang Chi led by Dr. Liu Ripang to be behind the Chinese spy balloon. I also told you in my earlier story how FBI opened a case against the Chinese spy master Dr. Liu Ripang in 2010 but closed it subsequently. These six Chinese companies blacklisted by USA are directly linked with Kuang Chi. Top official sources in the Indian defense establishment confirm your channel national defense that the Chinese have been conducting weather study and sea study in Bay of Bengal. Chinese have weather modification department with some 37,000 workers. The same department which studies weather can pick up any other things too. That is Chinese characteristic of civil military fusion. But what is alarming is that now the Chinese spy master and his company Kuang Chi in the garb of technology and research collaborations have now oversight and insight virtually on all important and relevant companies across the globe, particularly the technologically advanced countries in USA. Also, it has silently spread its network. In this mega global expose, I'm going to highlight how Chinese have become successful in not only stealing technology, but with a unique modus operandi are tracking technological developments in aerospace sector virtually across the globe, including India. Please mind India too. But first, let's start with the Chinese companies blacklisted by the USA. The first company that is Beijing Nanjiang Aerospace Technology Company, which is better known as Nanjiang Aerospace, is a, is a subsidiary of Kuangchi. It focuses on developing satellite systems and providing space-related services such as satellite data analysis and space-based remote sensing applications. Kuangchi acquired Nanjiang Aerospace in 2016 as part of its strategy to expand its presence in the aerospace industry. The acquisition allowed Kuang Chi to leverage Nanjiang Aerospace's expertise and capabilities in satellite technology to enhance its existing aerospace offerings and develop new space-based applications. Since the acquisition, Kuang Chi has continued to invest in Nanjiang Aerospace supporting its research and development efforts and helping it to expand its operations including but not limited to high altitude airships together Kuang Chi and Nanjiang Aerospace are working to advance China's space capabilities and develop innovative space technologies now the second blacklisted company is CETC 48th Research Institute, which is a subsidiary of the CETC, a state-owned company that focuses on developing defense and high-tech electronic products. The 48th Research Institute specializes in research and development of electronic equipment, systems, and software. Kuang Chi and CETC 48th Research Institute have collaborated on several projects in the past, including the development of a high altitude unmanned aerial vehicle and a brain computer interface technology. The partnership aims to combine Kuang Chi's expertise in advanced technologies with CETC 48th Research Institute's experience in defense electronics. In 2017, Kuang Chi and CETC 48th Research Institute announced the establishment of a joint laboratory to focus on developing new technologies such as intelligent robotics, artificial intelligence and Internet of Things. The partnership aims to promote technological innovation and advance China's high-tech industry. 
Now coming to the third company, the third blacklisted company with Guangxi has a strategic partnership is Dongom Lingkong Remote Sensing Technology Company Limited. This is Lingkong, a company that specializes in developing remote sensing technology and equipment. In 2018, Guangxi announced that it has acquired a 20% stake in Lingkong, making it second largest shareholder in the company. The investment aimed to strengthen Guangxi's position in the remote sensing market and expand its business into new areas. The partnership between Guangxi and Lingkong focuses on developing advanced remote sensing technology, including satellite-based earth observation systems, unmanned aerial vehicles, that is UAVs, and other airborne remote sensing platforms. The two companies also collaborate on research and development of new applications for remote sensing technology, such as precision agriculture, environmental monitoring, and disaster management. In addition to its investment in Lingkong, Guangxi also provides technical support and expertise to the company. The partnership between Guangxi and Lingkong aims to promote technological innovation in remote sensing industry and help China to become a global leader in that domain. Now coming to the fourth blacklisted company which Guangxi has a strategic partnership with is Eagle Man Aviation Science and Technology Group company better known as Eagle's Man, a Chinese company that specializes in aviation and aerospace technology. In 2018, Guangxi announced that it had acquired a 10% stake in Eagle's Man, making it the second largest shareholder in the company. The investment aimed to strengthen Guangxi's position in the aviation and aerospace market and expand its business into new areas. The partnership between Guangxi and Eagle's Man focuses on developing advanced aviation and aerospace technologies, including UAVs, the unmanned aerial vehicles, air traffic control systems, and aviation communication systems. The two companies also collaborate on research and development of new applications for these technologies, such as emergency response transportation, and environmental monitoring. In addition to its investment in Eagle's Men, Guangxi also provides technical support and expertise to the company. The partnership between Guangxi and Eagle's Men aims to promote technological innovation in the aviation and aerospace industry and help China to become a global leader in this field too. The two other companies, Guangzhou, Tian Hai Xian Aviation Technology Company and Sangzi Eagles Men Aviation Science and Technology Group Company also have deep links with Guangxi Group. U.S. Commerce Department's Bureau of Industry and Security said the Chinese entities were added over their support for the People's Liberation Army's aerospace programs, including airships and balloons and related materials and components. It is interesting to note that Biden administration blacklisted these six companies having deep links with Guangxi but has not even named Guangxi. Well, US administration and agencies have a lot, have to do a lot of face saving as why and how Dr. Liu Rupang, the great Chinese spy, managed to steal US technology while pursuing PhD despite their full knowledge and a pending FBI investigation that was, that was closed subsequently. It is worth to note that Guangxi has penetrated deeply in the technologically advanced countries. Biden administration and US national security agencies are in full know-how about operation and collaboration of companies related to Guangxi in USA. Guangxi Holdings, the coveted global technology group based in Shenzhen, China, has made several investments in U.S. companies. Over the years, some of the U.S. companies that Guangxi has invested in include 
Magic Leap. Magic Leap is a startup that develops mixed reality technologies and products. Kuangchi invested $100 million in Magic Leap in 2016. Kuala Technology Group, a company that specializes in the development of thermal management technologies and electronics and batteries. Kuangchi invested $8.5 million in KULR in 2018. Govin Semiconductor, a fabulous semiconductor company that develops low power small form factor FGFA chips for the Internet of Things market. That's a huge market. Kuangchi invested $10 million in Govin in 2018. Quanergy Systems, a company that develops LIDAR sensors and perception software for autonomous vehicles and other applications. Kuangchi invested an undisclosed amount in Quanergy in 2016. Kuangchi's investments in these and other US companies reflect its interest in cutting-edge technologies such as mixed reality, thermal management, and autonomous vehicles. The company has also made investments in other parts of the world, including Europe and Asia, as part of its effort to build a global network of technology partners and collaborators. Some of these foreign investments are not direct investments, but through other companies. One such example is MMC UAV, which in turn has made significant investments in US companies. Kuangchi Group has invested in micro multi-copter aero technology MMC UAB that owns a majority stake in the company. In 2016, Kuangchi Group invested 50 million US dollars in MMC UAB, acquiring a 34% stake in the company. Since then, Kuangchi Group has increased its stake in MMC UAB to over 90%. The partnership between Kuangchi Group and MMC UAB has enabled MMC UAB to access Kuangchi Group's resources and expertise in developing cutting-edge technologies such as artificial intelligence, robotics, and aerospace. The company have also collaborated on several projects including the development of autonomous firefighting drones and a drone-based delivery system for medical supplies. The investment from Kuangchi Group has helped MMC UAB to expand its product range and enter new markets. The company has also established partnerships with other companies in the UAB industry, including Intel and Airbus to further enhance its technological capabilities and bring innovative solution to its customers. Now you see, the same micro multi-copter aero technology, the MMC UAB, literally owned by Kuangchi Group, has established partnerships and collaborations with several companies in the United States. In 2017, MMC UAB signed a strategic partnership agreement with AeroVista Innovations, that is a Texas-based company that specializes in aerial data collection and analysis. The partnership aimed to bring MMC UAB's advanced drone technologies to the US market and to offer AeroVista Innovations customers with MMC UAB's cutting-edge products and solutions. In 2018, MMC UAB also signed a Memorandum of Understanding, the MOU, with a California-based drone technology company, that is Dragonfly Incorporation. The MOU signed uh, to establish a partnership to develop and produce a new AV platform for commercial applications. The two companies also plan to collaborate on research and development of new UAV technologies. The MMC UAV has also participated in several exhibitions and trade shows in the US to showcase its products and technologies, including the Consumer Electronics Show, the famous CES and AUAV SI Exponential. These partnerships and collaborations demonstrate Kuangchi's front face MMC UAB's commitments to expanding its presence in the US market and working with local companies to bring innovative drone solutions to customers in the region. But we know what is the real goal behind such collaborations. Apart from US tech companies, 
Kongchi has also spread its technological, technology surveillance and talent hunting network to other technologically advanced nations. Kongchi Holdings, a technology group that is based in China, has made several investments in Israeli companies through its subsidiary, Kongchi GCI. Kongchi GCI has invested in a range of Israeli technology companies, particularly in the field of cybersecurity and artificial intelligence. Some notable uh, investments, if I tell you, that include Theta Ray, a provider of artificial intel, uh, uh, intelligence based solutions for cyber security and fraud detection. Taito Care, a developer of remote medical examination solutions using artificial intelligence. The another one is Cognigo, a provider of data protection and compliance solutions using AI, artificial intelligence. Cori Fortronics, a provider of dual camera technology for smartphones and other devices. The other company is Innovis Technologies, is, is a developer of LIDAR, light detection and ranging technology for UAVs, autonomous vehicles. These investments are consistent with Kwangchi's focus on investing in innovative technology companies with disruptive technologies and strong growth potential. Israel's thriving tech ecosystem and reputation for innovation make it an attractive destination for Chinese technology company looking to diversify their investments and expand their global footprint. But we know the real game behind this. Apart from Israel, Kwangchi Holdings has made several investments in the United Kingdom. So we are not talking about United Kingdom also. One notable investment was the acquisition of a 20% stake in Gelo Industries Group, a UK-based engineering company that specializes in advanced propulsion systems for aerospace, marine, and even land-based applications. This investment was made through Kwangchi's subsidiary, Kwangchi GCI. Kwangchi has also invested in other UK-based companies in the technology sector particularly in the field of artificial intelligence, cyber security. For example, in 2017, Kwangchi invested in Face++, a facial recognition company that has a research and development center in the UK. It's a Chinese company. Additionally, Kwangchi has established partnerships with the several other US-based organizations to explore joint research and development opportunities in areas such as unmanned aerial vehicles, and high altitude platforms. If we talk of Indo-Pacific, Kwangchi Holdings has also made several investments in Australia, New Zealand, particularly in the areas of aerospace, artificial intelligence, and robotics, the cutting edge technologies. One notable investment was the acquisition of a 50% stake in Martin Aircraft Company, a New Zealand-based aerospace company that develops personal jackpacks and other types of aviation technology. Kongchi also has partnerships with several Australian organizations, including the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization, CSIRO, to explore research and development opportunities in areas such as UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicles, and high altitude platforms. Kwangchi has made investments in Australian companies in the technological sector, particularly in the cutting technological areas in robotic automation, fast brick robotics, that's another company which is developing a robotic bricklaying systems for the construction of uh, um, uh, bricks. They have also Sydney based startup called Myriota also in their fold that have satellite based common connectivity for the Internet of Things devices. UAE is another advanced country where Kwangchi has shown interest. Kwangchi Holdings has made several investments in the UAE after Australia, UK, Israel, particularly in the area of aerospace, smart cities and artificial intelligence. One notable investment was the establishment of a joint venture 
with Dubai based HES energy systems called HES energy systems Middle East to develop hydrogen fuel cell systems for aviation and other applications. Kongchi has also invested in UAE based companies in technological sector including a drone service company called Falcon Eye Drones and a smart city solution company called Intellinium Middle East. Additionally, Kongchi has signed partnerships with several UAE based organizations to explore research and development opportunities in areas which you all know. The same areas as UAVs, high altitude platforms. For example, in 2018, Kwangchi signed a strategic cooperation agreement with the Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center to collaborate on the development of high altitude platforms and other space related technologies. These investments in the UAV, particularly, are consistent with Kwangchi's strategy of in investing in innovative technologies, as I said earlier, with disruptive technologies and a strong growth potential. The UAE is a leading hub for technology innovation and entrepreneurship in the Middle East. With a vibrant startup ecosystem and supporting government policies aimed at promoting innovation and attracting foreign investment. So Kwangchi is another feat. Kwangchi financial uh, include uh, Dronebolt. Kwangchi Group has made investment in Dronebolt uh, and owned a minority stake in the company in 2017. Kwangchi Group invested $3 million, uh, approximately $3.5 million US dollar in Dronebolt, acquiring a 9.44% stake in the company. Since the investment, Dronebolt and Kwangchi Group have collaborated on several projects and mostly these are drone based security systems uh, that uses artificial intelligence and facial recognition technology. The two companies have also worked together on developing new applications and services for drones in a range of industries. Now you see how Kwangchi has spread its network and China virtually tracking all the technological developments happening across the globe in aerospace sector. It is up to the agencies of respective countries to narrow down if Chinese have used researchers, scientists for spying in these countries or they just have oversight and insight. It is also up to agencies to find if Chinese hunted scientists from other countries to work under their thousand talent program under one 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 plan. Hope you like the story. If you do so, please share, subscribe, National Defense and want to support to join me as a member. Thanks for watching National Defense Indeed. See you soon with more expose on Kwang Chi's India operations in this third part of the series. Jai Hind, Vande Matram.